Alexander for every run scored during this year's Athletes Unlimited softball season. Aspiration committed to planting 10 trees. There were 840 already committed this season, entering tonight thanks to Aspiration's support. Had some special moments. Talk about Alice e. Alexander's moments. Had a little bit of a flashback to that the other day at the Little League Softball World Series, and we've seen it so many times from Odyssey, but how cool is this moment for her to get to watch from the stands, and there is our superstar from the other day. Yeah, this is Gina Drake that you're seeing on your screen. Was pitching in the game the other day at the Little League Softball World Series, and look at how athletic she is laying out for that ball, and it was reminiscent, you know, when you watched, you thought, man, that looked just like Odyssey Alexander, because we've seen Odyssey make tremendous athletic plays when she's pitching. She is not scared to field her position, just like Jada Drake took an aggressive approach to that one, and oh, there she is, Odyssey Alexander, we've seen her do that at Athletes Unlimited, and then of course at the Women's College World Series a couple of years ago, and Matt Schick and Jenny Dalton Hill even said it on the broadcast of Gina Drake, man, that looked just like Odyssey Alexander making a play, and now here she is getting to watch Odyssey Alexander play in person and be in the circle. I'm not sure what's going on over there. They're eating popcorn or something, but they're enjoying themselves, getting ready to watch Odyssey Alexander come back out for her second inning of work. She will see 7, 8, 9. Delaney Wiz, Caroline Jacobson, and Sis Bates do up to face Odyssey. Popped up, and this is going to get into the stands. You know, there are some pitchers that will shy away from a bunt, from a fly ball, from anything that is hit their way, and there are some pitchers who are going to attack those plays, and Odyssey Alexander has always had that mindset, and a pitcher who hits for herself loves fielding her position, and it's led to a lot of success for her, and think about that Women's College World Series play that we were talking about earlier, and that was one of those marquee plays of the history of the Women's College World Series when she came onto the scene and led James Madison to the World Series and even beat Oklahoma. Oh, wow, this is crushed foul. And way into the trees down the left field line. Delaney Wiz, second year pro. First year with Athletes Unlimited. He's hitting right at the 300 mark for the season. One-two pitch coming from Odyssey. And I'm sure Odyssey loves being here too because she was rooting on her cousin who plays for one of the teams that made it to the Little League Softball World Series, Kaylee Garner, plays for Pitt County Little League team and cheering her on at the regionals. And I'm sure whenever they won it, won the regional to make it to the World Series, Odyssey was like, great, I'm gonna be there too. Can't wait to see you. There's a great video of Odyssey watching that regional championship from Rosemont. She was celebrating when Kaylee's team punched their ticket, and now Kaylee getting to watch her on the field tonight. Saw her in the stands with Jesse Warren earlier. Let's see if she can get Delaney Wes to swing at a rise ball up and in. Marco outside with her. Oh, that is ripped right to the glove of Hannah Flippin. Hot shot here. Get me away when you're playing third base. Has pulled that outside pitch too and had top spin on it. Kind of just got to Hannah Flippin like a drop ball. Sent her glove right back into her foot. Had so much steam on it. Caroline Jacobson now watches the first one in the dirt. Jacobson, a product of two ACC programs. First Duke and then this last year at Clemson. Played with Peyton St. George at Duke. pitch and that is hit really hard obviously staying inside these last couple hitters the ground ball to the 
shortstop Muffley takes care of that for out number two. Here it is. I know you love this one. Mm, I do love this one. This was at the Women's College World Series in 2021. James Madison was playing Oklahoma State, and Oklahoma State attempted a squeeze play and was denied by Odyssey Alexander taking the squeeze on her own and then diving home to make this tag. James Madison would go on to win this game. Tying run in the seventh inning right there. That was out number two. <laughs> That's a big time play right there. And to be able to, again, it goes back to being able to see these players play on TV, whether it's Odyssey Alexander make that play in a James Madison uniform or in an Athletes Unlimited uniform or if it's Jada Drake making a play in her Little League Softball World Series uniform inspires others to dream bigger, be bigger, challenge yourself, and know that you can do it too. Oh, great. I, I hope that this event continues. I think we've both enjoyed it tremendously. I think the players have, both the pros and the young players. How great will it be one day if you can look back and have a picture of one of these little leaguers watching this game and now playing in it? If. 10, 11 years down the road. Not a matter of if, okay. but when, when. When that happens, we will show it on air and we will love showing it on air. We live for those things. 0 2 to Sis Bates. Looking for a 1 2 3 inning here after taking the lead in the bottom of the third. Again, this is just the start of series number three of five in this Athletes Unlimited Championship season. One, two, off speed. Sis Bates crushed it to right field, and she's done it! That's back-to-back -back years for Sis Bates. Sending one over the wall. did not miss it. Trying to work her up and in, and she just gets her barrel there, lets Odyssey Alexander supply the power, and just sneaks it down the line, and she knew she had the best view, knowing that it stayed fair. Hit one at AUX, hits one here in the championship season, and we are tied at three apiece. And what's so cool, too, is that if you asked a lot of these players who their favorite player is, one of the more common answer would be Sis Bates. She is one of the most beloved players in our game, and I don't know, maybe she just picked it up, knowing that all these little girls were in the stands. That's just Sis's second hit of the season. Hitting 059 entering this game, and she was 0 for 1 coming into that at bat. Outside, ball one. Add it to our solo home run count. That is nine home runs hit today, and seven have been solo. 11 of our 13 runs have come from home runs in these two games tonight. The fans love the long ball. Big crowd, a lot of little leaguers in attendance. They want to see the long ball, so these players have delivered. So it's not just chicks that dig the long ball. It's everybody, right? All fans. That's right. Let's go down to Savannah Collins. She has Sis Bates. Sis, what has gotten into you? I need you to make notes. What you made for breakfast? What you ate for lunch? She said, hey, I'm at the Little League World Series. I'm going to hit a home run. I was chatting with my little girls. Um, I chatted with my San Jose girlies and my Oregon girlies, and it was all for them. Okay, as someone who is normally plays a lot of small ball, hits for contact, what do you hope that goes to show them, like, hey, at any time, it can be your moment. Yeah, you're a swing away, you guys. Literally a swing away. Um, on the dirt, trying to mix it up with some slapping, some bunting, some small ball things, but just trying to see it deep and put a good swing on a pitch for my team. <laughs> Thanks, sis. Appreciate it. Let's go, Google team. <laughs> Check it back to you. Sis hates. 
<laughs> She's always got something good to say. The California team is from San Jose. That's who she called out. And the other West Coast team from Oregon, from Bend, Oregon, participating in the Little League Softball World Series. She's chatting it up in there. Everybody wants to know what's going on. Sis Bates, the home run. <laughs> It's like you when you catch a fish and you have that that fishing story, right? It was this big, and this is what everybody wants to hear about it. Tell me all the details. What was it like? <laughs> Are you a fisher? Uh, I come from a fishing family, okay. so by blood, I guess. Okay. <laughs> now ball back to Odyssey, underhanded to first base for out number three. Back and forth we go. Sis Bates is always a player that does it for others. Her teammates, Little League Softball World Series players who are in the stands, a solo home run for Sis Bates, and she ties up this game. And a longtime pro, new assistant coach at Washington, announced this summer, moving over from San Diego State, where she was the last two years with Stacey Newman Denise and one of 16 players who has played in every athlete's unlimited season dating back to the inaugural season in 2020 and we have Vic mic'd up out in left field Vic thanks so much for doing this uh, been a fun weekend for everybody here you got to throw out the first pitch I saw you talking to the team from Canada did you get any tips from Danielle Laurie on the first pitch because it was it was a strike it looked good thank you um no I just watched a lot of really good pitchers so no I'm just kidding I I did use to pitch in my glory days back in like travel ball but no it's, it's been awesome the environment's cool having team Canada in the stands is awesome and just the energy has been really fun with you Odyssey puts this one in foul territory, long run and out of play. What did you tell Team Canada when you got to talk to them? Um, they were just getting ready to play, so um, just warming up. Just We cheered a little bit. We just talked about having fun um, coming out here, just being themselves. And I think they're just excited to be here. They were excited to be here at the game tonight and see both KJ and I. So um, just to have fun and enjoy this experience, soak it up. Vic, what do you think it means for you guys to be here at the Little League Softball World Series representing VU and the AU and Little League Partnership? I think it's just, it's so cool. I mean, you see so many of our girls that have been in their position one time. Like, I just, I love all the kid photos that are shown of, like, Rachel Garcia and, you know, Hannah Flippin and just showing that, like, where you are, you can be here. I mean, Kat was, like, the queen of Little League for a hot second. That's Intercott coming here is awesome. And, I think it just, it's just another example that if you can see it, you can be it. And now they actually get to see it with their own eyes in the stadium, which is cool. And what do you hope that they learn from you by watching you play and being here at this field, watching your game? Um, me specifically as a player, I hope that they see that, you know, nice Meg, you don't have to hit home runs or, you know, there's no box that you have to be in as a softball player. I think, you know, it's ironic that Sis just hit a bomb. That was freaking awesome. But, <laughs> You can be any shape, any size, like speed is still a thing in this game and, you know, flashy, we often get lost in the sauce with a lot of velocity and a lot of people that hit the ball really far, but, you know, you'll see some spinners in here that can throw it soft and, you know, confuse hitters that just can get on base for the big people to score them. So I hope that, you know, the way that I play the game continues and, you know, slapping stays alive and all that good stuff because I think our game has taken a little bit of a step away from that. Vic, how about the way you coach? Because you've had so much success as an assistant coach and now okay. going back to your alma mater with Heather Tarr and Courtney <laughs> Gano and Sis Bates. Tell us how you are as a coach. Um, I think as a coach, I'm very much the same as I am as a player. I just try to pour into the people around me. And, um, you know, my players are my why. They're why I'm here. They're why I'm still here. Um, I love them a lot. And I, you know, I think about them every time I play. So just, you know, sh sharing the passion for the game and just continuing to grow with them. Like, I'll text some of them after the games and like, hey, what are you working on? It's like all the things I'm still working on. So I think just that bond and you know, showing them that you're never too old to learn new tricks. And just that passion of, of continuing to grow and be challenged why I'm still doing it. So to now be able to take that back to UW is, is just an honor. It's something I'm super excited about. And I know I can't wait to get to work with some of these girls.
Alright, let's go. Two bats are looking strikeouts. Two outs, Vic, but before we let you go, I gotta ask you, we had a great conversation a couple weeks ago and you talked about that. Like, you're still even figuring out what works for you after all this time playing as a professional and at the international level. I mean, like, what do you tell players who come out of college and they don't have the team, they don't have the coach to train? What are your, what's your advice to young players in the league? You know, it's it's just a process of self-discovery. I mean, video is out there, just continuing to learn. Delaney's like trying to come talk to me, not realizing I'm on, I'm on the mic with you guys. Um, you know, you have to figure out how to coach yourself. And I think people often know more than they give themselves credit for. They've never just really had to out on their own. So um, I think just looking on the people that have been there before you, and there's such there's been awesome conversations that happen rookie to vet. I've had some awesome ones with Meg. Um, just, you know, if you're willing to learn and just ask questions. I mean, Halo and I have been playing the game a long time, and we do things so differently, but it works for both of us. So I think someone in this league has similar tendencies to you, ways that they work, um, strategies that work. And so I think the community of AU, instead of being on a team with maybe three or four veterans, you're on a team of 60 with people that have been doing it a really long time and have different strengths. And um, we really lean on each other and are able to share everything that we know about the game and it's a really collaborative space which i think makes it really special and we definitely see that getting to talk to you guys as well it's so much fun to be a part of thank you Vic, for letting us uh listen in and we are just going to listen in the rest of this inning you guys are awesome hopefully it's going to be really fast because meg's going to get this straight right now let's go meg we're back baby yes here we go maybe another looking strikeout hey you heard it here first let's do it <laughs> come on meg one, two, just a little too far outside right there. Two and two count here to the pinch hitter and the rookie from Your Oregon State. Your best right here, Meg, baby! Frankie Hamoudi. Keep coming in and make a play. Yes! Swings through it. Megan Faramo fired up. She strikes out the side. Her seventh strikeout of the game. Let's go, Dave! What an inning. Victoria Hayward mic'd up. The seat from today, actually, on August 16th on ESPN. The League Softball World Series will come to a close in about four days' time on Sunday. They'll crown a champion. You will be there to crown a champion. First pitch swinging right to Muffley at shortstop. There's one away as they get Kelsey Stewart Hunter. Alongside Amanda Scarborough and Chucky Kemp. Great team we've got here tonight. Savannah Collins down on the field. Casey Carter and Scott Heck leading our production crew. What has been a special weekend here at the Little League Softball World Series. The first ever AU Pro Games being played here, just like the MLB does with their games at the Little League Baseball World Series. Is in there for strike one to Haley McClenney. Jesse Warren still working in the stands. Our star in the stands had some great games tonight. And Jesse was a part of one of those in the first one. Didn't come out on the right side of things, but these have been super competitive. Jesse, we talked a lot about you got the great glove at third base. Odyssey Alexander, we talked so much about her in the circle. For somebody who's just a defense junkie, how great is it to watch her do her thing in the circle, especially with the glove? Yeah, um, she's just athletic. I, I love watching her compete. I love playing against her. She's just a competitor. Um, I got to watch her compete in the World Series when she was there, and it's just so cool um, to just watch her compete. Like I said, she's an athlete. She makes great plays. I'm a defensive gal myself, um, and I love seeing pitchers who can fill their position and kind of let me as a corner relax a little bit um if you know there are bunks or stuff plays that need to be made down the line so um it's really cool to watch her uh, compete out here just you've been immersed with that team from north carolina sitting in the stands with them that team that represents the southeast region um any advice or any questions that they've been asking you like what kind of insight have you been talking about yeah um i actually had this one behind me asked me, um, or one of her teammates asked me if, you know, what was my inspiration and why I played the game, and kind of shared that with her, and um, she was just like, it's so cool to hear that from just a professional player, 
Um, and I told her I was human just like her. They could ask me whatever they wanted to ask me, but it's just so cool to be out here with these kids. Um, again, got to watch them compete yesterday and um, to be able to have them uh, watch girls who they want to be like when they get older and hopefully get to compete in Athletes Unlimited one day as well with us. Um, it's just such a great opportunity to be out here. When you were their age, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a softball player like I wanted to play softball as long as I could um, and it's funny you ask because I was a big baseball player so playing in college I wanted to play baseball like I didn't know that softball um, was going to be the route that I took but uh, there came a time where I knew I had this transition over and then from that point on it was I want to be a softball player so um, it was cool to, to be able to be here now and compete at the highest level possible and um, all thanks to Athletes Unlimited for creating this league for us and allowing us to compete. Jesse, how has your perspective changed since playing at the college game, having this level of success you did at Florida State? How has your perspective on the game changed to years later now as a professional athlete? Yeah, it's still the same game. Um, I try to keep it as light as possible, as simple as possible, I think. Um, sometimes when you get too um, in your head and you're overthinking a lot, um, things don't go your way and I'm kind of I'm kind of there right now um, and I'm getting pulled out of it a little bit um, this game's hard you know we play again we're playing with 60 of the best players in, in softball so um, it's it's mental it's a mental battle and you've got to stay in it pitch by pitch um, and I just I just love to compete on both sides of the ball and it's just such an honor to be able to wear an athletes unlimited jersey be able to come out here and play and compete pitch by pitch well, Jesse, we always enjoy talking to you. Thank you so much for being our star in this dance tonight. You're off the hook. You're off for the night. <laughs> Thank you. Jesse Warren, a superstar in the stands, and we are tied at three apiece.